Hi, Linda Bowen here from StampingWithLinda.com, your cardiologist since 1997, helping you create cards from the heart. Today is just a very cute little gift box um, to put Giardelli chocolates in um, this holiday season. Something just little that you could give to the postman or your neighbor. And so just wanted to share it today. I am using the Snow Flake Splendor Designer Series paper. This actually measures um, four and a quarter by six and three quarters. And what we're gonna do is we're going to bring in my trimmer and along that six and three quarter inch side we're going to do some scoring first we are going to score at three quarters of an inch remember that i always like to use this side when i have a small measurement under an inch and a quarter so we've done the three quarter we're going to flip it around and we're going to score at the one and three quarter three and three quarter, finally at four and three quarter. Then we are going to score along the four and a quarter at an inch on each side. So an inch on each side and then we're going to bring in our snips to do um, some cutting. Now when I cut out um, score lines, I like to literally just cut, I know it's gonna be hard for you to see, but I just cut the score line out completely so that you have a little bit of a gap in there. That way when you're folding it together, you don't have that bulkiness on the score line. So, we're just going to go down through here on both sides and cut the score lines out. A little bit hard to see, so you really might need to make sure when you have a design paper like this that you make those score lines really um, deep. So we're just going to pull out that little sliver of paper and again you can see it just gives us a little gap and that way when you fold it together you won't have that bulkiness at the seam. So I've got this. And finally that last one, not seeing it very good. Let's see, let me fold it. Today is kind of a cloudy day in Ohio, makes it hard even though I have my lights on to see the score line. So we've got that going on. We're gonna go ahead and work those score lines back and forth like so. We are going to take the sides and fold them in also. And what I need to do is to cut, this is the short score line on this side, then the next one, and I want to make sure, this is just a little bit longer, let me see it. So I'm just going to eyeball it here and I'm just going to trim about a quarter of an inch off that flap. So you can see it's just a little bit shorter. I'm going to do the same on this side. Just going to go in and cut. What I'm going to do next is I am going to grab um, my ornament punch. I want to have a little um, opening to put my thumb in in order to open my box and I don't have any of the circle punches anymore so I'm just using the top of that ornament punch um, to do that. And next what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I want the blue paper on the inside so I'm just going to work those score lines back and forth so this is on the inside and we are going to put tape along that 
bigger cutout section. I am using the Stamp and Seal Plus because I want it to be nice and strong. And what we're going to do is we're just going to work our box up like so. And I'm only putting tape on that one side. So I'm just going to take the flap and push that in and then bring the flap with the adhesive down over top like so. So we'll go ahead and do the other side. Again, flap in, flap over, taped side to close my box. And now on the short wings, we're going to tape that against the section that we cut out. So we're going to just take this, tuck it in like so, and Now we've got our cute little box, like so, very easy. What I have next is another piece of that Snowflake uh, Splendor uh, Designer Series paper. I'm trying to think, I think this is, let me grab my ruler so I can tell you what size I used. They are two inches by five. And we're going to get, bring in our Giadelli chocolate. I'm going to take my glue dot and just glue down the side flaps of that chocolate. So just kind of push them over the side. I'm going to bring in that designer series paper. I'm going to tape the two edges, ends, and then also I put some um, adhesive in the middle. I'm going to set our Giadelli down and cover it up with the designer series paper. Now I've already done two other ones. So this little box holds three Giadelli chocolates. So we're just going to go ahead and put them in our box. But we need to decorate the front of our box. So there's our cute little box. Isn't that adorable? And what I'm going to bring in is my Stampin' Cut and Emboss. This is the mini one. I am so, so in love with this one because I can leave it right on my table. And it's not any big deal to pull it out and do some embossing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look here. I have a piece of Purple Posy. And what I'm going to be using is that Snowflake Dyes. So we've got the Purple Posy. And then I have the uh, Balmy Blue Glimmer Paper. And we're going to take the smaller Snowflake. And we're going to run both of them through. Now I have found that with the smaller Stampin' Cut and Emboss, you want to make sure that your sandwich is nice and even to get it to go through. But then you're going to see how nice these snowflakes pop out. I mean, it is just, I just love this machine. It's nice and small. Pop it right back up there. And now we're going to pop those snowflakes out. Got them out of our dies. We're going to grab our pick a tool and just kind of gently pull them out. But see how nice all the little pieces come out. None of that running back and forth with your machine, running it through the brush to get all the pieces out. They just pop out so nicely. So next what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a small um, dimensional. I'm going to pop it in the middle of the Purple Posy. 
and then put my balmy blue on top of that. In order to cover up that dimensional, we're going to grab our um, gems. I'm trying to think what these are called. Blue adhesive, um, blue adhesive back gems is what they're called. They're in the mini. So you've got that. I'm going to go ahead and grab another little dimensional, put it on the back, and then grab that box and put it on the front of the box like so. Now isn't that the cutest little gift to give to a neighbor or someone that's sick? Hope you've enjoyed today's video. Talk to you real soon. Bye-bye.